Configuring your online monitor and control session. Configure the instrument with the necessary membranes, reagents, and buffer as described in the other YSI videos. Calibrate the instrument and then from the main screen press Run. On the Run screen, press the Monitor tab. To configure a monitor session, press Configure. Press New and type the name of your session. On the left-hand side of the screen, the antiseptic cycle defines the time that the pump will run, pumping antiseptic through the lines. The default setting is 30 seconds. This is adequate if the antiseptic solution, the bioreactor, and the analyzer are all side by side on the bench. This setting can be increased if you would like the pump to run longer. The purge time defines the time that the pump will run in order to remove any old material within the lines. The default setting is 40 seconds and can be increased depending on the flow rate, the distance from the bioreactor, and the volume of the sample line. If an external filtrate pump will be used, refer to the 2900 series manual for information on the flow rate and filtrate pump active functions. Next, select the module. We'll select Module 1. If you would like the instrument to calibrate before each scheduled measurement, Press the button next to the pre-cal settings to turn it on and select pre-cal time in minutes. The default setting is 10 minutes, meaning the instrument will calibrate 10 minutes before each scheduled sample. An alternative to pre-cal is the instrument's auto-cal settings found in settings menu under the calibration tab. Next, set the interval for your monitoring measurements. The default interval is 30 minutes. Select edit for probe A. You can set multiple probes with different parameters. The probe settings are routines that you can set up, save, and run any time. Select the chemistry that you would like to monitor. For this setup, we will select glucose. Select the units for measurement. The analog output, or DAC, is set to none by default. If you want an analog output signal, press the button next to DAC and select an output channel A or B. Select the button to the right of the DAC channel and select Full Scale Voltage. This can be set to 5 volts or 10 volts. The concentration listed below the DAC channel is the DAC maximum. Set the DAC maximum to correspond with the maximum concentration. If you are controlling the bioreactor run, press the button next to the control type and select PID or Threshold. The simplest control method is Threshold. This method is typically used to trigger an alarm. If you select Threshold, select a set point for the concentration at which you would like the instrument to send a signal. Select the limit for the alarm. If you select below the concentration, the alarm will activate when the instrument output drops below the set point. If you select above, the alarm will activate when the instrument's output is above the set point. If you select PID control, specify a set point. We will use 1 gram per liter. Set Auto Activation to On and set the percentage in the field to the right. The percent and error direction will determine when the instrument starts running the control algorithm and when the instrument will send output signals. Select TPU. The TPU, or time per unit error, can be calculated manually or automatically. Select Automatic and enter the average reactor volume. We will use 5 liters. Enter the delivery volume for the feed pump. We will use 0.1 liters per minute. Enter the maximum rate of change you expect to see in your reactor. We will use 0.5 grams per liter. The instrument will calculate the required minimum feedstock. In our example, the minimum concentration of feedstock required is 31.25 grams per liter. We will change the concentration of the feedstock to 50 grams per liter. Press the button next to feed concentration and enter the value of 50 grams per liter. The calculated TPU will appear on the last line of the page. Ours is 60 seconds per gram per liter. Press save and the TPU now appears on your screen. Leave the error direction set to under for this example. Press the button next to feed pump line and select output A or B. Select high for your output signal and press Save. Now your monitor and control routine are set for probe A. 
Press Save to save the probe configuration. And press Save to save the monitor configuration. Press Select to select the highlighted configuration. Press Start and enter a name to start the monitoring and control session. There is more on monitoring and control in the user's manual.